Well, hello again, everyone. <laughs> I'm still playing. I'm still playing with my wax. Um, I made these two. Um, this isn't wax. This was made with some snippets from um, a glue stick that goes into a heat gun and some luscious powder. But it was really thick really gloopy um, and trying to clean the spoon out afterwards is a nightmare so I don't know what it did wrong there whether it was too much powder I don't know what this one <laughs> I I found that this small tea light the wick had burned through and hardly any of the wax had been used up so I thought I don't know whether what the candle wax is like compared to sealing wax so I thought I'd try some candle wax with some luscious powder but that is is just so thin and runny it it goes everywhere I couldn't do that so, <laughs> so to some of the candle wax and the luscious powder I added one white um, wax bead a sealing wax bead and it still wasn't brilliant so then I put another snippet of glue stick in and that's what I'm <laughs> that's what I made with this one but um it, again it's not wonderful but you know I, I'm, I'm playing I'm having a bit of fun what I wanted to do today was to try to make a little seal that I could put this this was from this die and it's like um just a little envelope. It's from cut plurations, stamp plurations or whatever. And um, I thought what is, what would be rather nice if I put an envelope like this on the front of a card because when it's stitched, well, stuck together, you could fit a gift card in it like this you see that's what I was thinking you could fit a gift card inside so I thought if I were to decorate this this is a, um, a piece of jelly plate printing that I did a few weeks ago um, and I think these were alcohol inks not sure but this this die was just about as wide as, as my, my jelly plate I've got a six, six inch I think it is you see this is what was left and I'm hanging on to those bits because I'm hoping that I might be able to get these out of that and then put a bit of gilding wax on that's kind of my idea so um what I thought I would do is glue this together like that and then put a little bit of additional decoration on and I thought I might try this um indigo blue stamp uh, uh, William Morris and just emboss that over there in gold and then turn it over and do that bit there so that's got some on as well um, and then when it's done stick the whole thing onto there but putting I'm going to use a button because I only want a small a seal on there which I thought I would um, attach with a brad, I would put a brad through it. If, I don't know if it's going to work. All these wonderful ideas. <laughs> All these wonderful ideas. I don't know if they're going to be practical or not, but we'll just have a go, shall we? And just see where we get to. So I'll, I'll put those on one side because I want to try and get my, my sentiment out of there. That's that huge, huge set that I got from Craft Stash. Stash. Um, so first things first, get that out of the way before I make a mess of that. I'm going to stick this down because I want the the, uh, the design kind of all, all over. And normally this would be kind of the back, wouldn't it? That would be the front of an envelope, but the interest this time is going to be on the back. So let me just, oops, Daisy. Let me just stick this down. Oh, that's the end of that one. Just finished. I'll have to get another one to put put in there. Oh, so daisy. Just 
shouldn't be doing this way. I should have got my stuff ready beforehand, shouldn't I? I might use the other one, we'll see. Here we go for those who don't know how to do this. Oh, uh, where's the end? Here it is. Come on, come on, there we are. Follow around the arrows. Right. There we go. This just keeps it down. There we are. Right. Excellent. Quick as a flash. Right, that down there. I'm going to stick this one down as well. But I'm not obviously going to stick that one down. Okay, get my tape gun out of the way. Now, what I want to do is to stamp on this. I'm not quite sure what the best way of doing that is. I think I'll just stamp it. Just going to do it with versamine. So, whether to put that onto the stamp or the stamp onto that. I think I'll put the stamp onto the envelope. Don't need to do the whole thing. Don't know why I did that first at all. No idea. That's not quite big enough. Let's try this chap. This is rather large, but still never mind. There we go, it sticks, it sticks really well actually, this one. Let's just do this again then. I will just give it a, a rub over with some my anti-static doodad. There we go. Right. It doesn't have to be... Um, particularly accurate. I just want a kind of a more opulent effect, really. I don't know how that's done, but let's have a look. Put on a bit of gold. Here's my gold. I don't know how that's... I don't know how it's done, actually. Oh, quite nice. Quite nice. Oops, there we go, oops, just a bit at the side there, okay, put this bit back, and I will heat set this. got it all. Just want to do this little bit here now. So I'll just put a tad more first mark on. There we go. Get some Gold onto this. Okay. 
can't actually see a lot of the jelly printing now, but this was one of the ones that I wasn't too thrilled on to start with. <laughs> so it's one of the reasons why I'm trying to cover it up a bit, really. Right, let's just uh, heat set this. how we kind of think we're going to go with that on the on there like that um i'll cut out these words because i want to try and i might just put a bit of gilding wax on these rather than embossing um oops today there's me trying to be full for not full worn four armed i've put three little bits in there now one's gone for the way of all flesh. Right, I'm just going to um, try and cut these out. And then notice there's a bit here. I think I might just, where was it? Where did I, where did I see? Was it just there? There's somewhere where I thought I could just about. If you look on the back, you can, if you can see any cutting lines, you know that you, you, you can't do it. But if you can't see any cutting lines, there's a chance you'll be all right. Let's just have a look. I want the look a bit to be... Oh, crikey. Gold. I shouldn't have bothered trying to get that ready, should I? Um, so I've got, I've got such a small space as my problem. Right, there's birthday. You see, the fact that was some missing didn't seem to make much difference, did it really? So I've got four and year for your birthday, for your birthday. So will I, all of that fit on there? That will fit there. Excellent. Excellent. I might cut some from playing card so that um, I can stack it just to give it a bit more dimension. I think I might, we'll see. For your birthday. Okie dokie. Right. Might put something else on there. The fact that because my... Um, Stamp was flat, obviously. Oh, it's a bit low. I haven't heat set. Um, because it was flat, the fact that this is over, like, this is card, you see. It's not paper. I've got a bit missing where the stamp didn't quite reach. I did start to stand up to, pr to press, but it still wasn't enough. Let's just get these to a bit. I suppose I could have done the whole of the other side, really, before I closed it up, couldn't I? Mental note to self, that would probably have been a good idea. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We're fine, she says to herself. I have cut out some reinforcement rings because that's these, they, they came with a tag. But if you don't have these, you could just use... Um, a little a couple of hole punches, you know, and do it. This is f to go on the back of my, what's the name? Let's just see if we can make this little, this little seal. Everything's been going AWOL. Yeah, let's get a couple more out. These are my new colours that just arrived. I've got, now I've got gold and silver and pine green. Let's put two in there. I'll find the others later and pop them back. Okay. Yes, it would have been better if I'd done that the other way around, wouldn't it? She tells herself. I don't know if my um, stamp would have been big enough for the whole, whole thing. Let's have a look. Where's my stamp gone? There it is. No, it wouldn't. That's probably the reason why I didn't do it. 
<laughs> I thought there was a reason. Never mind, we'll see. Right, we're going to make a little tiny seal with this button. It's such a cute little button. So we'll see how we get on. Um, I was going to say, while that's doing, I might just cut another couple of those, but having known how I sent everything flying, I think I'll wait until my candle is out. Yes, the idea is I have this, this, this seal there attached to this flap, and then I use some cord, which I'll attach behind here, and then we can bring it up and we can go like that around the seal to to fasten it off. That That's kind of what I'm thinking, but who knows what will happen. Indeed. And I did get a cocktail stick too somewhere. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Wonderful. Wonderful. Can we see all this? I think so. Let's put that up over there. When I saw these spoons, melting spoons, advertised, I thought, you know, they're all metal. Those handles are going to get really hot, but for some reason, they don't. I don't know. I don't know what goes on, but the heat, whether it's this, this shape, there must be some physics in it must, somewhere, mustn't there? I don't know. I wasn't good at physics. At least this cocktail stick doesn't make the scratchy noise that a pokey tool does. I probably won't. It shouldn't have. I wouldn't have needed three for this little tiny, tiny button. But still, in mind, we'll be fine. Look at the swirly colours in it. Crikey! Okay, dokey. Now, there's my silicone mat, get some tweezers, and we'll pour. I've discovered that you need probably about the size of what you want to stamp in your, on your surface or whatever it is you're going to do. I'm not very good at this yet, I have to say. Okay, right, now some thread. I will need to have a hole punched in. That's one thing I didn't look to get out, it was my um, crocodile. Here it is, there it is. Oh gosh, that draw's heavy. Um, so I will need to punch a hole in this. Now, where's the little hole? That's the little hole there. The little hole so probably should measure this, shouldn't I? I think it is in the middle. Well, let's have a look. That is seven. So three and a half. One, two, three and a half. And make the hole about there. Okay. I find aiming this thing is quite tricky. Where's the? Oh, there it is. We see. Right. Oh, <laughs> I feel achievement. I've done that in the right place. Okay, I'll put that down there for a minute. Let's have a look at this chap. There we are. Sweetie, isn't it? So that is going to go on there. So now what I've got to do is try and get a hole in the middle of this. And I think for this I'll use the bigger one, which is on the other side. It's quite tricky. Right. Perhaps I better just put a mark on this because it's difficult to um, to view from. Can't really see that. Okay, let's see. 
Which side is it again? There. Okay. Can't see what I'm doing. About there. Oh, well, it's not in the middle now. Mm. I thought I'd got it. Never mind. We won't worry about it because what I want to do is I'll stick one of these on the back of there. Get some glue. Just a little reinforcement. Okay. Oh, I fancy getting that not in the middle. But what I want to do is to put a brad on there. You see? So if I do it so that it's kind of about like that. I gave away a load of brads to Cleo. She fancy she said she desperately needed them for needed them for a project. I took some more to the charity shop and this is all I could find. So I've got kind of a flowery thing or a star. Oh, that's another flowery thing. There was more flowery things. I think a flowery thing will go, don't you? Let's try it. Let's see if this will work. So I could put I could put another reinforcement thing on the on the other side, couldn't I? Just to be doubly sure. Because it won't show because it'll be behind the um the seal. Let's just see. There. And this goes on to there like that. And I'm going to put the brad through like this. It's not my finest hour, I have to say. The fact that it is not in the centre. But still, never mind, it's the, the thought was there. Right, let's just sort this one out now. I'm just wondering if I need to do something else with the with the um the envelope it does look awful because it's should, should I do an I will do another one actually um I will replace what's it is that cool enough to touch yes I will replace this one I think because I'd like to try and get it in the middle um Let's just hit it up again. Right, here's my lighter. While that's doing, I'll move it over there for a moment and I will just cut out another cut of work and stick, stick this onto here, shouldn't I? I have a fancy four. Wrong scissors. Um, a bit like this if this goes stuck on the back like that this comes up here and i can just go around like that with the could put it up through there which is where the round and around let's just just stick that on like that across the back stick it down like this let me just do the for you for your birthday should i say for your birthday. Bit of scrap here. For your birthday. Beware of that. Oops, that's not over the mat. There we go. do that for a minute first 
then we'll go back to the back to the sentiment. Right. Going to blow it out again. Ooh. My wishes aren't coming true, are they? Right. wait for that to set. I think that might have been a bit hot, don't know. Right, let's just put these, um, stack these sentiment words. This is a birthday. They're really nice, aren't they, these? Your And four is there. Perfect. Okay. So let's just stick these together. Where's the four? Here's the four. Already, it looks so much better to, to have having had a second layer. I think, anyway. There's your. Here's the your. And I think I may just put a little bit of gilding wax on this, just a touch. your birthday I thought I'd I'd got some little circle brads which would have just popped into the middle of that but I think I gave them away it's always the way isn't it as soon as you got rid of something you find a use for it it was ever thus This, this glue makes my fingers incredibly sticky. I don't like sticky fingers. Here we go. There. Just wipe this. There we are. Okay. Now, a little bit of gilding wax. Let me keep this out of the way before I make a mess with it. Okay. Make it look really opulent. There we go. You may find when you use, if you do it like I did there, and you use your heat gun over somewhere where you've added an adhesive, that it will start to lift. So you can actually use that to your your advantage sometimes because. If, for example, you've stuck down your front panel with an adhesive of some description, some kind of glue, and it's not quite in the right place, if you heat it with your heat tool, it'll soften the adhesive and you may be able to lift and replace somewhere else. Oh, I haven't done this, have I? Oh, dear Lord. Um, 
you may be able to, you know, reposition something. So there, just a little tip. So I bet somebody was saying to me, you haven't done the, you haven't done the sentiment. Then just a touch of tiny little bit here, a little bit there makes all, well, I think, makes all the difference. There we go. I haven't made my table a mess, I did it, because I'm, I'm not particular how, how much I put on. Use the, use the lid. Normally I don't feel that I can control how much I get on my finger from the lid, but it um, doesn't matter in this case, I don't think. A bit white there. Just put a bit more gold on. There we go. Good. Now I will just work the fingers. Oh, there we go. Now then, my piece of twine. I couldn't find, I have got some gold, but the gold I've got, A, is a not very nice, nice, not a very nice gold, and B, it, it wants to go straight all the time. So, um, you know, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't stay round a, a tag like this. I think it would, um, it's a bit close. Now, I want to glue this so I can glue it onto my card front, which is, what have I done with it? Oh, jeez. What did I do with my card front? Oh, crikey. Is it here? Yes, it's here. Right, let's have a tad of this one now. I've refilled it. Have I checked? Right, here we are. For your birthday, all we have to do now is try and get this in the middle, isn't it? Right. Perhaps I'll use a sharpie this time. I don't know if that would be better. Right? be able to see it better. Let's see. Okay, let's try again. Where is it there? Right. That's better. That is better. Right. Now just put my... Because the brad, the thing isn't in the centre either, would you believe? Can you see? It's sl slightly off centre. <laughs> Perhaps if I'd used the other one and moved it in a different position, it would have been right in the middle. Oh, oh Lord. I don't know. There we go. put a piece of something underneath there. Right, this is the idea. The, my idea was to do this. There we go. And I will stick these down. And I may put a little bit more decoration on the on the envelope just to I don't know, it just looks a bit plain to me. We'll see. I think maybe the, the stamp I chose to put over the top was just a bit too much. It might have been better if I'd just put 
on the two flaps, but never mind, never mind. The idea was there, but th this is this is the reason I was going to try and do it really, was to, to see if I could use a little seal to make a, a fastener. <laughs> I sort of did, as ever. Thanks so much for watching.